Yes, yes, welcome in everyone. It's the One Burner Bachelor, 37 Steps Up High Above the City on a beautiful, beautiful day, bringing it to you. Already in my new casserole pan, I went out and bought a new one today. I put the older one underneath it with a little bit of water in it to kind of act as a steamer in a sense just so my new casserole pan would not be directly on the burner, on the One Burner Bachelor. And what I've got going on today, I'm calling it citrus chicken for now. These chicken thighs with the bone in that you can see here now that I'm turning over, oh, like $4 on sale and a package of eight of them is $4. Oh, the meat on these, the bone in, the dark meat is nice and tender. You just have to let it do its thing. So these have been going, oh, a good 20 minutes just the way I had them with just a slice of nice juicy orange on the top of each one and all that else that's in there kicking around. Oh, that's not garlic. It looks like it. It certainly doesn't smell like it. It is crushed pineapple in its original juices. So that's what I'm doing now. It's just continuing to move around the oranges, peel and all, nice and clean. I learned that the sweetness and the bitter Kind of from the lemon and the lime and the orange. The skin isn't a bad thing when you're searching for flavor. We've got plenty of other things to do for flavor. Well, this is actually going to be this citrus summer chicken with rice and a vegetable. We're going to do it all in this casserole dish as long as things go right. i got a good bubble going. A good boil, a good steam, a good cooking started. The smells are already unbelievable. Angelo's right here chilling. We push the door open a little bit further. He's hanging out. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Pop back over here for a second. Um, and when we come back, we're going to reflect a little bit here on the One Burner Bachelor. Um, even though not a single person has expressed any curiosity in this matter at all, I'm sure there has to be at least one person out there that kind of wonders, you know, how Angelo and I get started. So um, I'm going to take that chance figuring there's at least one person. And when we come back, while our citrus summer chicken with its awesome orange slices and crushed pineapple and its natural juice and its bone-in chicken thighs, continue to do their thing on the one burner bachelor. Strap in, everyone. This is a long dish, which gives me some time to tell a long story. We'll be back. Okay, so okay, we're back. There's our citrus summer chicken, still doing its thing, a long time to go. But it's just kind of time to reflect a little bit. So, like I said, and I'm just going to kind of keep the camera on my friend Angelo, 37 steps up high above the city. We actually met on the rock and roll scene, oh, years back in Jersey. I was working a gig in the toughest, toughest city in Jersey, the toughest part. Oh, you'd want to talk tough? Everybody there was tougher than a $2 steak, I'm telling you. And I was gigging, and it was this place called the Made of Rock Little Horse. And I was just doing my thing there one day in the baddest parts of Jersey. And Angelo just came walking in. Oh my goodness, he's walking out now. He's already upset with me that I'm even telling the story. But anyways, he came in and he meowed, do you mind if I sit in? And I said, no, of course not. And so he sat in and we became friends ever since. And then, oh, he's kind of heading down the, down the stairs now. He must be going to sign some autographs or something. But then, you know, not long after, we were doing a few gigs. And you know how that works. We think we're going to team up. We're going to be a duet. He kind of wanted to be lead singer also and wanted more part in the vocals. We were having, I'm just going to go back to my dish now because he's outside. Hope I didn't upset him. So, we really couldn't come to an agreement and we were doing a show one night. And I can't remember if we were in uh, Interlock in Switzerland or if we were right here in the, in, in the One Burner Bachelor's small apartment, 37 steps up high above the city. And I was only about 15 or 16 minutes into one of my, you know, heartfelt ballads that I composed myself. And he walked off the stage. You know, I... Without a sound, he just walked off the stage, kind of left me hanging there to pick up the pieces and do the best I could to finish the show. I guess we did all right. You know, and it took a long time after that before we talked again and got back together, and 
somehow we agreed after talking for a while that, you know, we turned to cooking. I kind of knew something about it. He could cheer me on. You know, he could, you know, do what he could do. And um, we, we kind of try to start all over again and maybe just kind of rebuild our friendship. You know, because, you know, he walked off the stage on me. I know I'm boisterous sometimes. I'm not a very good listener. And, you know, he, and he doesn't say very much, which was my point, that he could speak up a little bit more and let me know what's going on. All right. So, you know, sometimes, you know, we're 37 steps up high above the city. We're sharing the, you know, this small crib, doing the best we can as roommates. And, you know, things are good most of the time, like any relationship. But it hasn't always been, you know, as fun and easy as maybe I kind of make it sound on the show. So anyways, okay, so during the commercial break or our next rest, because I'm getting a little bit emotional here, we'll probably turn the chicken back over and mix some things around and uh, maybe make a move. We'll be back. Episode eight. Oh my goodness, of that puzzle. We have to give away a prize and tell you what it is. We will. Don't worry. We'll be back. Okay, we're back, 37 steps up high above the city. I did talk to Angelo. You can see him down there. Um, he didn't walk out because he, he's upset with me. He saw something down there he might want to chase and spend a little bit of time with, so that made me feel better. Okay, so right here. It's tough to concentrate sometimes on more than one thing, but I'm doing the best I can. So roasted red pepper and basil quinona and brown rice blend from Near East. That's what I've added here on the fly in the pan with the pineapple juice, the orange juice, and the juice from the chicken thighs bone in that are cooking. So naturally they need some water. And that says that you add two cups if you're doing it on your saute pan on your stove. But I'm adding one cup for now. And with all the other juices and everything's going on in there. And one of the reasons I grabbed that quinona in brown rice is it supposedly cooks a little faster than dry rice. You don't need quite as much time. We have plenty of time because when this starts to simmer and simmer again now, not only is it going to help to continue to cook those chicken thighs on the bone, but it's going to get that quinoa, 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 quinoa and brown rice blend doing its thing. We still have a vegetable to add and um, we've got others to add if we need to. Um, we're not, actually, you know what? We will. We'll take our tongs now and kind of get the Everything mixing around a little bit. The things that is, oh, there's some of that on the chicken. Oh, what are you going to do? Oh, this, oh, there's some on the orange. So what? It's all in this one pan, and it's all got a ways to go today. We're basically baking chicken. We'll get back to the bacon chicken on another episode. But we're actually doing it, you know, in this awesome casserole dish on our saute pan. And now it's all up to that rice to, and that, oh, quinoa and brown rice. So that must be some tiny, tiny little rice thing. It looks like it's even smaller than risotto, which is a real fancy appetizer dish, I guess, because quite often on the cooking shows I do watch that are much more experienced and much more popular than mine. That's a big dish they're calling for, for as an appetizer. So how this is going to actually all get to cook now in juice, now that I've kind of covered it around and everything, I'm not sure. But I'm guessing juice is the answer. So if I need to add more liquid, perhaps I'll get liquid out of the vegetable I'm using. Whatever I need to do, I'm going to taste and check and kind of let this go along and do its thing. Here on the One Burner Bachelor. Bone-in chicken thighs, summer citrus with rice and vegetable, all in one aluminum casserole pan. Thanks again, everyone. We'll be back. One burn of action. Yes, yes, we're back. Yikes. The chicken thighs bone-in. That's the orange slices laying on top of them. The quinoa and brown rice blend which has roasted red pepper and basil seasoning, which I haven't added yet, or there is a packet to add. I bet there's a little bit in those grains that are in there. Oh, that's just starting to thicken up now with the crushed pineapple. So what I'm going to add
bad now. And all those specks that are still from the canola rice, which I'm not sure what they're supposed to do. I think they're going to swell a little bit and be a kind of a rice sort of thing. But now I'm going to get my vegetable in there. A vegetable that we like. And a vegetable that's going to add moisture. And I think will fit in with some rice and some citrus flavors and go awesome with chicken and yes that's this chopped spinach this is the spinach we did not use the other night when our awesome by the way that shepherd's pie was just oh was that good i didn't share that with anybody i ate probably more of it than i should have and there wasn't really enough to share the next day angelo wasn't crazy interested in it so it actually went to the birds which is where sometimes with this stuff goes. Okay, so we've got our spinach out of there now. We flipped our thighs, bone in, skin on a few times. The temperature's right in the casserole pan. The oranges and the pineapples, that citrus and that canola and brown rice blend. And if I decide to, which I probably will, I haven't yet. I haven't used that packet, the roasted red pepper and basil. I'm not sure how much flavor is mixed into the canola and brown rice blend before it's added separate from the packet. Because I do have that paper packet right there that so many of them come with that I can add. But I'm going to turn this back up. I'm going to, um, you know... Keep it as high as it is. Things are bubbling. I like the idea of kind of the double burner, the older pan underneath it to make sure nothing sticks. And just in case our one burner gets too hot, we've got that extra buffer and we're just being extra safe. Okay. And uh, thank you for um, letting me get kind of that, you know, that story about Angelo off my chest. You know, it, it's not always easy. We'll be back. The one burner bachelor. Okay. We're back. 37 steps up high above the city. Just let it rip. It smells unbelievable in here. I took a chance here. Going out on a limb, whatever that cliche is. I added that flavor packet of the roasted red pepper and basil canola and brown rice blend. It smells unbelievable. I've got it sprinkled on the top. I'm going to let it mix and meld for a bit. I didn't add any other water or liquid yet, thinking the liquid from the spinach will continue to help thick uh, canola and brown rice blend. I have some Texas peat hot sauce, of course, to add if I need to. And I didn't think it would have been fair if I didn't add the packet to the rice, to the canola and brown rice blend, because that's probably part of its deal. So I'm going to just dig in here back carefully now. Just start mixing that flavor in easy. It's that it's a food of love thing, right? You know what we'll actually do? We're actually going to turn these thighs back over and get the skin side back down some. Nothing's going to get crazy crispy. We've got that extra buffer. It's going to be perfectly cooked and be awesome when the time comes. But we're still letting everything thicken. And the beauty of that canola and brown rice blend and the spinach... You know, Florentine is kind of like this fancy word for spinach. If you get like a chicken Florentine soup or tomato Florentine, Florentine or haddock Florentine, it usually means spinach. I don't know if it always means spinach and cheese, but I think it means spinach. So anyways, and sometimes there's Florentine in rice or in canola and brown rice blend, I hope, roasted in red pepper basil. Because that's what we think is going to happen here is everything's going to continue to thicken. Flavors from the orange and the pineapple. Oh, and the chicken thighs bone in, which is dark meat. I think the thighs and the drumsticks are the dark meat and the breast and the wings are the white meat. But bone in, yikes. This is just half the package I cooked. I've got a few more to do later on. And we're just going to let king things keep thickening. And these things just continue to get happy. And these flavors just mixing together and smelling awesome. Okay, 37 steps up high above the city. Yikes, this one's almost 15 minutes. Um, I'm not going to come back. I'll come back for about 30 seconds when I have the final product. But 
we need to get our eighth letter and our prize mentioned. Or part of the prize mentioned for the unscramble the puzzle on the one burner bachelor and try to figure it out and win a prize. All right. Let's hope I'd see Angela Walt there and he'd help me with this one. But letter number eight. And this is a curveball, I hope, people for following. It's not going to be as easy as some may think. Is T. That's right. The eighth letter. So that's now eight down, four to go out of 12 is a T. All right. And when I'm ready to plate this up and it's all done and I have a picture to take, we'll be back. The one burner bachelor. Woo! Okay, we're back. I didn't want to leave everybody hanging. Things are great with me and Angelo. Um, don't get me wrong, that is not a facade during the show. I mean, we're having a blast. Once you kind of realize that maybe music, music scene, the hard rock and roll, you know, the danger in the city wasn't our thing, and we turned to cooking, things have been 100% better. We've been roommates for now over eight years, and things couldn't be better. Okay, thanks again, everyone. So one burner bachelor, 37 steps up high above the, above the city. Please keep sharing, keep subscribing, viewing, try some of these dishes. Oh, does this smell good. So there they are. The final look, still simmering, orange slices, crushed pineapple and natural juices, chicken thighs bone in, quinoa and brown rice blend with roasted red pepper and basil with other natural flavors, and some spinach. Yikes. It's all simmering now. We're going to divvy it up, find some peeps to share it with. We'll see you next time. The one burner bachelor. Thanks again, everyone. T was today's letter.